Uh, I mean, we need, of course, to return to the big story, the uh, royal drama that is unfolding before our very eyes. Of course, two nights ago, Piers Morgan here at Talk TV took the seismic decision uh, to name King Charles and Catherine, Princess of Wales, as the people whose, whose names somehow or other got into the Dutch version of Omid Scobie's book. Uh, there is no suggestion that they're racist. There's no suggestion uh, that Scobie had anything to do with this. He denies it. But somehow or other, their names wow. got into this book and Piers decided, I think quite rightly, that the British public had a right to know this. Uh, let's have a look at him explaining why he did what he did. Eyes on. Well, last night I decided this was all ridiculous and it was time to name the two royals implicated in those racism claims. They are, as I said last night, King Charles, Prince Charles as he was then, and Catherine, the Princess of Wales. I did that for several reasons. First, the speculation was once again raging out of control, as it has for two and a half years. Second, it made no sense that Dutch journalists and Dutch people who bought copies before the publisher withdrew them would know these names, members of our royal family, when the British people were prevented from knowing them. Thirdly, once you know the names, it becomes blindingly obvious to anyone with even half a brain that these allegations are ridiculous. Well, yeah, I couldn't agree more, quite frankly, but someone who didn't seem to uh, buy into Piers' explanation for what he did was uh, his guest on the show last night, Tessa Dunlop. She was a bit fiery, wasn't yes, she? Yes, uh, 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 Piers describes her antics as performative. I've been the victim of them myself from that now and then. Uh, she is uh, uh, unpredictable, I would suggest. Uh, let's have a look at Tessa's volcanic reaction to Piers' uh, revelations. You appall me, Piers. Occasionally, I think, no, he's found the light. He's seen the light. He's no longer crashing on about Harry. And then this appalling diatribe we've just had to sit through. You claiming, you lying there, suggesting that you're putting their names out effectively to save the monarchy. You put their names out for clicks. You're no better than Omid Scobie. In fact, you're worse. You call him a little spittle. You're a great big gob of phlegm that's just landed on the royal doormat. And this is a woman, she, uh, she uh, sat next to me on the talk once here on Talk TV. You OK? And, and when I... Yeah, I've, I've just about recovered. And when I suggested that uh, I wasn't convinced that mankind was responsible for uh, climate change, because there isn't any scientific evidence to prove that, I just sort of put that out there. I said, you know, uh, she, uh, she got very, very worked up, stood up, and in order to emphasise her point and to demonise me, mysteriously poured a glass of water all over herself. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, welcome to the wonderful world of Tessa Dunlop, and she's talking absolute rubbish, of course. Piers is quite right to do what he did. Uh, the public do have a right to know. He's a journalist, I'm a journalist, you're a journalist. Journalists reveal things, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why he did what he did. Secrecy is the enemy of journalism. Piers Morgan took the decision that he would pour light onto this dark secret of who these two royals were, and I think he did the right thing. And it's all going on now because well, uh, Omid, off, Omid Scobie, uh, in his book Endgame, he said he had nothing to do with this manuscript Not arriving Not in Holland. It was his manuscript. It had this paragraph in that named Charles and Kate. He said, doesn't know anything about it, nothing to do with him. Now, uh, he said it must have been a mistake in translation. Now, the <laughs> Dutch translator who worked on that book has said, uh, no, 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 as a translator, I translate what is in front of me. The names of the royals were there in black and white. I did not add them. I just did what I was paid to do, and that was to translate the book from English into Dutch. Now, uh, you know, like, it makes sense, doesn't it? As we said yesterday. Why would a translator what? suddenly go, oh, I didn't know, I've been paid to do this job, and I'm just going to go a little bit tonto, a little bit rogue, and just throw some names yeah, but, in there for the fun of it. Yeah, well, how, you, you, there's, there's not a translation that? problem on King Charles and Catherine, Princess of Wales. You can't translate that into something different. You know, the, the translation of King Charles in Dutch is King Charles. Uh, the translation of Kate Middleton in Dutch is Kate Middleton, right. uh, the Princess of Wales. It, you know, that's not a translation problem. Whatever has happened here, and must stress, Omid Scobie, the author of Endgame, says he had nothing to do with this. But whatever happened, it was not a translation problem. No. I mean, I just... It, 
We've got to be careful, haven't we, what we say about this. This is what's so frustrating. It's like a who done it when it's kind of there's the, the list of people who could have done it isn't exactly uh, massively extensive, is it? Um, um, and Omid Scobie saying, look, I swear on my parents' life, it wasn't me. I didn't want to put the names out there for legal reasons, attacking Piers Morgan for being the person to do it. Um, I mean, look, why write these horrible sleazy allegations and accusations in the first place, you know? Yeah. It, it's the whole book is a, 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 an exercise for self-promotion when it comes well, to I think, I Scobie. Th I, th I think Omid Scobie is reeling by what's happened because a lot of people think that in this book he crossed the line, that it was spiteful, poisonous, <laughs> everyone in it is evil apart from this saintly uh, Harry and Meghan, of course, and I think he's reeling over this. Uh, we don't know what happened with this Dutch ed edition, but uh, it's enabled uh, some light to be cast on this murky situation, mm. and I think it's good that we know these names now, and Piers has done. Yes. It's not, not only the nation, the British public pay for the royal family, we have a right to know, but he's also done, as I was stressing yesterday, Alex, he's done the royal family a favour. Just everybody's speculating, who are these two people? Right. By the way, by the way, lastly, we must also stress that, it, that we've been through uh, their entire life histories. Right. There is not a shred of evidence That's to suggest it. that Charles and Kate have ever been racist once ever in their lives. The absurdity of the claim in many respects lances the boil, doesn't it? And this whole sort of taud tawdry allegation that stemmed from that Oprah Winfrey in interview that they were they were concerns about the color of yeah. Archie's skin and then of course all the headlines were well the royal family's racist there are various spin-off documentaries the left-wing commentary I had a field day about it all the while Harry and Meghan sat there in stony silence until of course Tom Bradby said to Harry well look you know your wife essentially has accused the royal family of potentially being racist and Harry said no she didn't that was the British press and we sort of think well why don't you just counter these things and say absolutely my family is not racist. And again, stony silence from Harry and Meghan when actually they could wade in, do the decent yeah. thing and say, you know, that Harry could say, my sister-in-law, who is always a great mate to me, like a second sister, doesn't have any racist bone in her body. Yeah. My father yeah. equally is head of the Commonwealth, okay. doesn't either. Yeah. Do you want to see my uh, Tessa Dunlop moment? Uh, oh. Take it away, me and Tessa Dunlop on the talk. No, not of been proved, has been proved, It has there not been proved. Causation. That is a lie. It has been proved. It has not there been There is proved. no ambiguity that in the scientific That is not an argument. That is a fact. I'm going to camera. I cannot believe that the man sitting to the left at me is denying climate change is a human-caused phenomenon. Well, I, I give up. <laughs> Welcome right. to the flood. I'm not denying... That is where we're at. That is what's going to happen. Uh, well, I'm because not denying... Can I just... Welcome to the yeah, flood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's pour us up water all over herself. Uh, she's a strange woman. Uh, yes, uh, but uh, as you say, uh, Harry and Meghan uh, now under intense pressure to, to distance themselves from yeah. this book. If they don't uh, denounce it, then effectively they endorse it. So I think the ball is now in yeah. the gruesome twosome's court. Indeed.